What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Eastside RC and TMR Performance. Today guys, we are going to take a little look at my gas tank setup and start putting together the XLT. Alright y'all, here's my, my diffs. I got these two back together. The rear, I'm sorry, the front and the center. How you can tell the front is the front always has the gear towards the inside of the case, okay? And the rear always has the gear facing the outside of the case. <clears throat> now, what I did here was when I reassembled each one of these, as you can see, I got the 100,000 diff oil in there, the silicone Lucas diff fluid. What I... uh this good stuff right here. All right, so I first put the pin in and the washer, the shim. Then I put some fluid down, a good amount to cover the whole bottom. And then I dropped in the first bevel gear. And then once the first bevel gear was in there, I rotated it a couple times to get everything coated and to, to, and to disperse the fluid from all to all the sides. Then I filled up more silicone fluid on top of that, a good amount, maybe um, to not quite halfway of the case. And then I put together the gears, <clears throat> the spider gears, and dropped them down in their pairs. And uh, I squeezed in more fluid and I let that settle as well. Each time I put fluid in, I let it settle and rest and get all the air bubbles out. Once I got the spider gears in there, I twisted the diff and rotated the gears to fully coat all the gears real thoroughly. Then I filled up more fluid in the center above the gears, above the cross pins, just a little bit, about 330 seconds. And then... Uh, I let that settle got until there was no air bubbles at all. As you can see, there's no air bubbles, crystal clear. And then I dropped this gear down in there. And as you can see, see how I got it going straight across? That way it makes it easy when you put this on. You can just turn this like that, like so. All right, and now you're in your cross pin is in relation with all your holes so you don't have to disturb the fluid and get it all over the gasket, all right? I fully washed all these diff cups, cleaned all the holes out, put all the screws inside one of these right here and took them out on the deck and used brake cleaner and got all the threads nice and clean before I used my favorite MS. 222 ms all right so that diff cup will be good to go and then you want to tighten those down in a cross pattern for those of you guys that are new and do not forget to put your bearing on there and the bearing always goes lip in all right flat side out lip to the inside for the low c slash Roven LT, SLT, and XLT differentials. And now for the gas line. <clears throat> what I've done here with my gas line is I drilled and tapped with a little, with the little brass fitting that I showed you guys in the last video from Performance RC, Adam, the pilot. He, uh, that's what I got him in my phone as, my brother Adam, Adam the pilot, because <laughs> he's he's only 27, y'all, and he flies airplanes. My brother flies airplanes. <laughs> Crazy, man. Super cool dude. Love you, brother Adam. Always looking out for his brother. So he hooked me up with this fuel nipple. It looks just like this, guys, right here, all right? Just like this, this cap, I can't use it. But uh, 
yeah so got that set up there and what I did here is I've eliminated the three hole grommet and got a two hole and I used my cool little billet red high flow fuel connectors one will just go down in the tank like so and as you guys can see I used a piece of fuel tubing on the end there to squeeze the hole up this line is just a short line with the filter because it's only going to go over in the tank over here and lay on the bottom at the lowest point of the tank and to get those on there i slightly put a tiny little bit of grease around the nipple here and then pushed it right on up on there no problem this piece is just slid up to the top all right, so you want to leave this out so that you can get this down into the tank easy, nice and easy, all right, like so. And then I'll have to use two hands in case I need a screwdriver, but just like that right there. Let's go ahead and get these down in here. right just like that she's in there like swimwear and then the lines will be going this way and as you can see this one's up now we can create a mega seal Another thing that I'd like to note here is uh, these screws. I changed out all these screws. If you notice, these screws are the Yes 20 or uh, 12.9 hardness screws. All these diffs came with 10.9 screws. And I noticed that the heads were a little bit marred. So I went ahead and used these and, you know, this nice genius bit from DDM works great. But yeah, these, I switched them all out and upgraded the screws to 12.9s because I just like a nice, a harder screw. And this Loctite is, acts like a lubricant. So you can get the screw fully seated real nice and you don't, you don't need to crank these super duper tight, guys. You just crank these down until they stop. That's pretty much it. You know, crank them down until they stop evenly, and you're done ski. Well, there you have it, guys. The fuel line all tied in. Chris... Costigan, you wanted to see how I ran the fuel lines? Well, there you go, brother. Just down here, made a little loop. And you brought this right on around here. And this will go up tight like this once I get the filter on. All right. Clean and neat. Tight and right. One other thing I did was I matched the header flange to the exhaust port. As you can see there, I opened it up. And I also took <clears throat> my TMR flat surfacer that Mr. Allen made me. And I surfaced that. As you can see, he made this out of a hardened piece of steel. With a little handle he made that for me and I flat surfaced this to get that nice and flat all right so now what I'm gonna do back here for this mount 
brother Kyle's cracked right there. His weld was not very good. And normally, exhaust pipes are not mounted up rigid. So what I'm going to do is, if you notice, this is the piece that was in between the exhaust mount there, the spacer. I'm going to use these rubber gaskets as a spacer. I'm going to super glue these three together. And that will give me the same thickness as you can see right here. All right, these are just plumbing washers. And they're rolling away. Same thickness, so that'll give me a nice cushion. And this is real good, real good hard rubber. So it's gonna work beautifully. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this late night episode at Eastside RC and TMR Performance. If you guys like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. Come on back because I'm going to be finishing up this bad boy. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to have something super special coming to the channel, guys. It, I can't even believe this myself. So I can't believe I did what I did. So, oh my goodness, I'm overly excited. Y'all have a blessed one. I will see you on the next one. Eastside RC at TMR Performance. He's out. Uh -huh.